Teens, I'm Trink and welcome back to Wolf Quest University Edition. Here with Coco in his pack, the Hazard Bluffs. He is an iron wolf, which means some bad stuff could happen. This is his mate, Zyla. And now I'm going to give these pups names. Um, this name is from Marsh Storm 7381. Thank you for the name suggestion. Um, if any of these names mean anything bad, please let me know. I will have to change them because I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Who does, really? I think they're all fine names, and this will be Starfruit. Then I think somebody else gave me Coco names, so... Aha! This name is from... Okay, that's... Elena3863 And the name is Bubbles And, um... Oh, Transformer Fan 04 also left names. This shall be Toby. There's another boy. I was gonna use the name Lobo. Pretty sure I already have a Willow in somebody's name, so I will be not be using that. I'm sorry, Elena. Mm hmm Whatever. Drift. What? Sunny. And... I don't remember which wolf that Rick Broadwell 6837 gave these names for. But I'm going to call this one Dawn because it goes with Sunny so well. And I misspelled that. Perhaps Sunny and Dawn are very close. Or maybe they're not close at all. We shall see in a moment. But it looks like we need to sleep. For a second there, I thought I saw bear scent. Very concerning. Back over here. Dawn, you weren't supposed to have bluffs in part of your name. <laughs> there. But the real numbers are 1620. Huh. These number. Why did this number go down instead of up? I'm confused. Let's have a nightly howl. And then allow us to sleep. They will be going in the den when we arise. Though the the thunderstorm makes me worried that we might have a problem. 
Well, they're going in, so that's good. Maybe it's because we're on a hill? Who knows? Health is good. We should probably go and hunt. That means living off of hairs. Don't exactly see a good indicator of food sense. Should try go back to the pups for so we can get a little bit more affinity. Is the territory looking? Not horrible, surprisingly. We just need our fingers to go up. Please go up. Okay, go back in the den. So your mother and I can go hunt. If we can even find anything. Other than hairs. But now it's there. Here you go, Zyba. Food for you. I do not see food scent. See toys shovel scent, but that's not gonna do us any good. Also smell cougar. Can at least get some drink. Help fill us up. Sometimes the cougar might know where there's food. Or they're working for our pups, which I do not appreciate. Coco's like, no, I do not appreciate you being in my terrain. There you go, Zyba. I know it's not the best, but it's all we can get right now. Is that? Oh, it's for crossing. Hmm. A hair? Yep. Again, good for Zyla. 
Otherwise, purple. I don't want to hunt pronghorn. But if it's mule deer, it's mule deer. We might give it a good try. Maybe. But there's a lot of elk scent over this way. Oh my goodness. I have to cross this ridiculousness. I should have went over there. Honestly. I see the elk. I see them. These are mate coming along. I cannot. So I was like, why are you going across the stream? Because I see the elk. I see them. They're probably going to run straight into the water. Which is going to be very annoying. But it is what it is, right? Right. Yum, yum, yum. Now our mate is injured. Ouch! Ow! I could not avoid that hit. One, two, three, let go. Well, we're above 50, but... Why oh, you have a really long howl? Forgot about that. Forgot that about you, Coco. Is there anything we need to do? Not really. That's a good chunk. No, that's a tiny chunk. At least like medium, if not. Give me a good piece. Oh, we had food. Wow. Didn't need to do that. Could have avoided getting Coco hurt. Oh well. It had been a while since I'd played Coco's run or any of their runs. I hope you're enjoying what I managed to do now that I have a new microphone. But I haven't done so much recording in a while, so I don't know how much I'll update because my throat gets sore. That's fine. We just want to get back to the pups as soon as possible. Home, 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 Zyla. To home, to home we go. To home, to home, to home. It's the most desirable place to be. There's a hair, but our mouth is full. There's another hair. The area is at least abundant with hairs. But new, who knows how long that will last. Hmm. Coco dreads the cold. For he has little tail, one eye, one ear that works. And he gets chills. What was that? Did I see something? I saw something. Hmm. Yeah, if we need food and we can't hunt, might as well come here for a bunch of hares. But obviously we can't leave the pups long because affinity purposes. Okay, that 34% is concerning. 
then Coco is going to leave his mate here and go mark that. his mate decides to stay with the pups. Did she say that? Yes. Good. No, she did not. She was just waiting for the pups to go in the den, I guess. Just gonna go over and mark that 32% back over, and then we're gonna go home. It's just the way things have to be. The pups will get to eat. Bless you, Storm. Is that her? We'll figure it out in a second. You okay, Storm? Bless you, Storm. Well, at least our mate has healed. That was some. And Storm still has terrible allergies. Even the allergy stuff they tried to give it doesn't work 100%. It's because she has, uh, you know, the peak face of the Himalayan. Like, I remember when my mother used to breed Himalayans, but she bred the uh, doll face, and I do not remember any of these problems. She doesn't breed anymore. Especially with, um, uh, so many cats around here that are stray and feral. I caught three feral kittens this past spring slash summer season. One from the first litter and two from the second litter. I think she had two each time. I don't know what happened to the other kitten. I'm hoping somebody else caught it. Because somebody also TNR'd her. I tried. She kept getting the food out. But somebody managed it. I'm imagining they had enough to get a dropped trap instead of just a regular live trap. And, um, I found homes for all three kittens. One, the oldest one from the first the one from the first litter, gave to a distant, I don't know what type of cousin she was to me. I think my mom's first cousin, I think. Something like that. So, my first cousin once removed. Something like that. He was adorable. We almost kept, I, I like wanted to keep each of these kittens, but yeah, I couldn't. I just could not. I already have three. I want to be able to afford them if something happens. Where in the world are you going, Coco? Why did I do this? I got distracted telling tales. Hmm. Okay, don't hurt me, Moose. I didn't see you there until I howled. Let's run by the moose before it gets us. Thank you very much. Let's get a little bit of a drink. And then head on home. Do I have to go... Oh, I have to go over the Slough Creek. I don't want to. I don't like swimming. Or maybe don't have to. It's already down to 8. I should have went and got the 8%. Just to be like, ha ha ha. But I think it's actually the crevice like bothering us. Go 
Marco is just like, I want to get home. Territory isn't that big of a deal to him, but, you know, puppies and whatnot. The pups are fed. We are on 0% wakefulness. So as soon as we get to the den, we're just gonna go hunk a chew. Hmm. As long as nobody's lost. I think everybody's there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see six names. They're over this hill. All scattered, so <sighs> now you can come back out so we can sleep. Starfruit. I don't know which pup was following them. Okay. But Starfruit's apparently a troublemaker. Time for sleepies. details on all the stuff they added. It also makes it feel more difficult. The pups are so cute. You look a little bit like a coyote bubbles when you were sleeping anyways. Oh, come on, Zyla. I just saw an eagle, and there could be predators like in... Okay, that's a bald eagle. How does territory look? Oh, I don't like that. Eat. Eat your food. That's okay, we're at 100% activity. Eat, 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 eat. Hurry up and eat. Because Coco would like to go feast. Still hungry, Toby. I left a little food there for you. Toby, eat. Okay.
Well, I think she was going to go in there, but I want her to make sure she's well fed. There is... Oops. I think that's a golden eagle that might have been coming to attack and we left just in time, maybe? With all the pups in the den. And we're going to go get another meal. Good thing we hunted because the other one is gone now. This one goes, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Get out of here. Don't want you that close to my den. How close are you? Eh. I just don't want them nearby at all. Okay. Okay, let's just go around this. And there's a bear over here. Oh, it's a moose. Okay. Hmm. We're not here to bother you, Mr. Moose, or I think it was a mister. I wasn't paying that much attention. If there's a bear on our food, I'm just gonna be like, you can have it. This is accurate. I don't wanna mess with no bear. I definitely think it's on our food. It's in the same direction as our food. There's no way it's not on the food. Sure. Just gonna survive off his hairs for now. Here's Isla. Another hair for you. Eat the hair. I had beavers sent. Look after some beavers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that bear has our food. And I think it's a mama bear, though. So there's a small chance we could scare her. I really don't like having to cross. Was well, there a hair right there? There is. Come here, hair. Right into the waiting jaws of the wolf. Oh, there's another hair right here. Hey, Zyla. Okay, I would like to cross. I'm just gonna cross right here. It's Still, it's still quite wide. Not as wide as some areas. Phew, poor Coco. I think there is another hare. Nope, that's a coyote. I'm not interested in that. Did we just... Seriously? Annoying. And so I was like, what are you doing? Coco's like, I don't know. 
Honestly, I do not know. Okay, let's go try and get that food, if we can. Uh-oh. That was a really weird noise that my computer just made, or the game made. So I wish you would eat it just right there. Oh, look at the mule deer. Taunting us. Oh, this having to cross the way is annoying. Low hair. Here's another delicious treat, Zyla. Oh, this is annoying. The bear's still there. At least leave us a little nibble. Oh, that strong bear scent. Maybe we should go back. Especially with Xyla quite full. It's a bear. Maybe it already had its fill. And the fox. Ooh, that's a nice piece to take back to the pups. Oh, that coyote gave me a... A little bit of a fright, but we're good. As long as the coyote stays away from our family. Isn't that right, Zyla? Yes! I will tear that coyote a new tail. Or should I say, I'll tear the coyote's tail off. Oh dear, should I never said that? And he's like, Because hm. it's fine. You wouldn't mind tearing off a coyote's tail. In fact, he would tear off all the coyotes' tail and pretend they're all his tails. Which technically they kind of would be, but not in the way that it would be his actual tail. And we're tired again. Oh, but I forgot about... This. Oh. Great. Coco's gonna have to go deal with that on his own. Not the greatest. I'm just gonna drop Zyla off. Drop this chunk of meat off in Xyla and then be on our way to go deal with that territory again.
Mm-hmm. Maybe get two sleeps in if at all possible. There's a hair. Would y'all move? He always wants to go with Coco, but he's like, no, I've got this. I wish he really did have it, but we're having a problem with somebody messing with that territory constantly. Good could then taste it this way. Coyote could have been coming for a pups after it got or didn't get that hair. If you don't leave us alone, I'm about to snatch 20 or 47 percent, maybe. I really don't want to get Coco in trouble. Doesn't mean you can't try, right? Oh, that's wrong. This is my territory, you fiends. That's cougar. He's just tired of the messing with everything. The puppers are getting full or they're not getting more food, but they're fed. I don't know how far away this is. This could be disastrous. But Coco is annoyed that they keep messing with his territory, so he's gonna go mess with theirs. Oh, well. That was lovely, Coco. It's like, yep, I just wanted not to have to deal with it anymore. Because he wants him to leave alone the piece that he needs. I'm sorry, if you're a hare, he's gonna get you. Now to return home. Oh wow. Oh, that's a 
bow out curve. We do not want to mess with them. So tempting though. So tempting. But on Acrea and this is um Iron Wolf, so once he's dead, he's dead. We can't even save any puppies. Are you on the other side of this? Yes, you are. Most of them are in the den. How cool are you? Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Bye!